Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Just a very quick video, this isn't going to be much interest for most people, but it's just something, a little point of interest about DC as well. So, I've recently been testing the maximum ferry ranges of the various aircraft, and it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do. It takes several hours to really test each aircraft at various speeds, calculate their burn rates, and then calculate the maximum ferry ranges. I'm sure some of you, if you're watching this, you've probably watched the ferry ranges videos. So I've only done about eight aircraft, and I've got another bloody 30-odd modules that need testing and I can't really be bothered to do them manually because it just takes too long so I thought okay just to simplify it why don't we let the AI drive these aeroplanes and I'll just measure their fuel burn that way and the first thing we did was to make the AI drive the planes that I've already tested just to make sure that they get the same burn rate as what I did manually flying and they didn't they got a completely different burn rate and a completely different ferry range so for instance my F-15 uh, I've got about 2,000 nautical mile ferry range Range we calculated thereabouts and the AI guy gets over 2,500 so that makes no sense at all so I just thought we'd run in and do a quick comparison test to see why this is happening and the answer is the AI aircraft simply don't have the same physics as the human driven counterpart so this is a human driven F-15 this is an AI driven F-15 you'd expect them to be exactly the same but they're not they're not at all this doesn't really matter I don't think anyone's really going to care about this but it's just something I wanted to make you aware of in case you were doing some sort of comparison or something so here's my human F-15 it's going at 32,500 ASL it's got a speed there 250k IAS it's got an internal fuel load sorry it's got a total fuel load is 12 80, 12, 88, 9 pounds, and it's got three bags on. Here is the AIF 15, identical in every way, and same fuel load, same friction, absolutely the same. So, what I'm going to do is fly in formation perfectly with him. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to turn off wake turbulence because it's going to make it hard. Where is it? There, I'm going to fly in formation with him, and what we should see is that as I'm not being affected by his wake, if I fly slightly out of his wing, kind of like that, so he doesn't affect me uh, in terms of turbulence or air in any way. And what we should see is that we're going at exactly the same speed, then we should have exactly the same alpha, and we should have exactly the same fuel burn rate, exactly the same RPM on our engine. So let's go and test that out. Here we go. Bingo fuel. Should we get level with him? Bingo fuel. It's gonna take a little while just to have me to get comfortable with him. Okay, we're just settling there. Stop. We've now got it bang on identical. In fact, let's just fly, keep flying, just to get it absolutely perfect. So we've now got zero, yeah, we've got zero closure right now. So we're going exactly the same speed, same altitude, same everything, same weight. So I am maintaining 6.3 degrees alpha and 89% RPM on my engines. He is one knot faster, but basically the same. He is his alpha is higher, uh, which shouldn't be obviously. And his RPM is down at 84%. So this is why we were getting a big discrepancies in the AI versus the human fuel burn. He, simply because his physics engine is not the same as my physics engine. He doesn't have to comply to all the rules of physics that I do. So he doesn't have to have such a high burn rate. And so that's why the AI plane burn rates were so different and the ferry ranges were so much higher. This plane here can fly 2,500 miles. This plane here, the human driven one, can only fly 2000 and I expect almost certainly the same goes for its maneuverability as well almost certainly this will have different maneuverability envelope to this one here this one here the human driven one has a much more complex flight engine everyone who's been playing DCS for a while uh, for a, a while knows that and this here has just some very simple parameters that it's followed that are roughly calibrated similar to that one there so I just wanted to let you know guys know that it's the same in all of the aircraft that I can see that have an AI counterpart uh, that's it uh, that's useful and see you later